hello friends so in my previous video you have seen how we can create a volume on NetApp cluster using um, ansible and python and python we were using for, for automation purpose we created a program in python where we entered the values for the volume name and the volume size and it created the volume for us and same we did for the shell program also so that was about the uh, command line interface program now let's jump into the um, graphical user interface program so i have created a small very small program for you guys and this program is uh, developed in uh, python flask uh, so what you are seeing uh, this is one of the flask template which you are seeing right now on the windows and i am going to enter the values in these boxes which will take the volume name and the volume size like the same way what we have done before and uh, behind the scene uh, we are going to put these values under uh, the volume wars.yml file which contain our variable information which is located under wars so uh, this files contains our variable um, so it's uh, that program over here going to put uh, write the write the values in that file and run the ansible command so that it can create the volume for us in NetApp. to do uh, this what i have done is uh, i have created basically a python program which you can see here uh, this python program is basically uh, nothing but uh, it's a very small flask program where i'm asking uh, the program to take the values for name and the value for size and uh, then uh, pass those values in volumewars.yml file I write the, those value in some particular format and once the write is complete after that run the command uh, ansible playbook which will run the playbook for volume.yml uh, as we have done so far so uh, there is another uh, file called index.html this is nothing but a template file uh, which basically you can see here this template file uh, i have created which will accept uh, two different variable values one for volume name and one for volume size and pass these values to the volume.py file so if you are aware about uh, and python uh, flask and uh, some of the python programming so this is one of the very basic python flask program if you uh, uh, don't know about that i i suggest uh, please go ahead and read about python and and do some uh, read some something about python flask and i'm sure you are going to enjoy this python programming with ansible and NetApp. so uh, now i think everything is clear that we are going to put the values in index.html file and then index.html will pass values to volume.py file volume.py file will write which is one of the python program this will write the values in the volume.html file and then run ansible playbook command for us so uh, let's see let us try to create the volume first let me see if there is any volume so there is no volume called ncl or something so i will go ahead and i'll create the volume now let's take a volume name ansible wall 001 and we will take the size of 5 gb and let me come here in this screen so that you can see what is going on in the background so as soon as i will click on submit it will pass those values it will write the values in volume wars.yml file and on this screen you will see that it can it will write the ansible command so you can see it is right uh, it is running the ansible command right now and we can see change equal to one which is expected and i feel that volume should be created by now yes you can see the 5gb volume ansible wall 001 is created so uh, this is again one of the very basic uh, way of achieving um, 
of one piece of automation using Python, Flask, and uh, Ansible and NetApp. Uh, basically, uh, these kind of programs you can give to uh, definitely not the command line interface, uh, easy for everybody to use, but these kind of programs you can give to your layer one team or, or any other person who do not know much about uh, the users or who do not know much about the NetApp environment so that he can come here and enter these details and can create the volume for themselves. Uh, I suggest just do some studies about uh, Python and, and do some studies about uh, Python Flask and you will see uh, you can add more functionalities here that where you can allow user to choose uh, the logical interface or the aggregate or or anything else so and also you can show the user that volume is created or you can ask user to give the email address and you can send a mail on that email address and tell user that volume is created so the acknowledgement is done so uh, there are so many things to play around here which is not possible for me to cover in one single video and the reason I am asking you uh, to play, uh, read some Python and, and get some knowledge on Python class because uh, we are almost uh, end of this series uh, of Ansible uh, uh, automation with Ansible and NetApp. So uh, after this series, I'm planning to start next series, which is going to about going to be about uh, Python, uh, using Python, how you can use NetApp APIs. So I will show some basic programs and, and because that's going to be completely based on Python program. So, so I suggest you do some studies about Python and uh, that will help you a lot. And, and I'm sure that's going to be more fun when you will play with APIs and you will see how using APIs we can create automation um, in, in different way altogether. So I hope uh, you will enjoy this. and so. Keep learning, keep sharing, and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you, guys.